to this video where I'll be explaining how to change the background image with the click of a button. So let's get started. To start off, get the two backgrounds you want. I'm going to use the day versus the night. Now when you add these photos into Unity, they may not necessarily be um, the same type. So in my case, when I added them, the texture type was Sprite 2D and UI, and that's what you want. But if it's not that, it might be default or anything else. Make sure to change it to Sprite 2D and UI. Do that for both of them. As you can see, this one is already working. Now in my scene, I have my main camera already, and we're going to want our background to be a child of the main camera, and it's going to be a sprite. And this way, because it's a child of the main camera, if we have our camera move at all, the background will move with it, and it won't look as if the background itself is moving. Now the reason we don't make it a image or um, part of the canvas is because when you create the canvas, which we're going to need for our button, so you can right click and do that. As you see, it says screen space overlay, and that's what you usually have. So let's say you're displaying a score. You want that in front of whatever's going on in your scene. You can change it to the camera, but for the most part, you want it overlay. And so if we can do it, if we can make our background as part of the camera in a sprite, then we should and just leave canvas like this. However, make sure to change this from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. Now, uh, under the main camera, we are going to create our two sprites, and you can just drag that under there. Make sure that these two are child uh, children, and you could also select main camera, right click, uh, 2D sprites, and then you could also just add the photo like that. That's another way to do it, but we have them here. Now, they're different sizes, so first we're going to have to scale them, but another way you could do this is by just creating one sprite and changing this part of the sprite renderer. However, it is just kind of easier to make it two different sprites because then it's easy, easier to visualize. So I'm going to first scale this one. And as you can see, just because the way I created it, the day happens to be in front of the night. Um, and this isn't going to matter because we're actually going to disable the night one until we want it. And so although the night one is clearly covered already, um, it could always just pose problems later. So we're going to deal with that now. Now, when you select canvas, uh, go to right click UI and we're going to create our button. And this is what's going to change our day and night. So you're not going to see the button here. Make sure you go into the game view and our buttons right smack in the center. Now, next, we're going to create the script that's actually going to change the two images or really just disable this night one. So as you can see, we can't even see it, but I'm going to disable it anyway. Now, create your scripts, right click, create, uh, so go C sharp script. I already have mine. I called mine change background. Now, we're creating two game objects. Remember, before the two uh, photos that we had were technically game objects, and we're going to eventually assign them uh, each one to each other. And we're going to create this method here, which is going to tell our button what to do. Make sure it is public so that you will actually be able to find it later. I called mine background changer. You can call it whatever you want. But here's what we want it to do. We want it to uh, turn off or uh, make it unactive our day background so that we no longer see it. And then we want to be able to see our night background now. So this will change our uh, background once when we click on the button. Now make sure to save that script. Now I also renamed our images day and night just because it's easier to just work with. So I would recommend doing that so it's more convenient for you. Now on our button, I'm going to assign this script. You could really assign the script anywhere, but um, just remember where you do it. And now we're going to assign our day and night game objects from our camera. You can do that by dragging or clicking the dot and then selecting night. So in this instance, it's a lot easier for me to tell. And then now if you scroll down, you see we have this on click box and this is saying we want the button to do whatever this list is when it's clicked. So we're going to add and here you select the game object where the script is. So again, the script is on this button. And then the function, you first select the name of the script, which was change background. 
and then background changer, which was the name of our method. So now if we click play and we click our button, it should change from our day to our night. Now let's say you wanted to click this button again and change it back to our um, the other one. So first you're going to have to obviously try and see if like which one it is at. So we're going to do public uh, night, uh, public boolean is night. And so this is going to test whether it is currently night. And now here we might as well set it equal to false. It's default is false, but we'll set it to false anyway. And so we only want this to happen when the night is false. So when the night's not there, we want to see the night. So if is night equal equals false, make sure double equals, we want this to happen. Now, if the night is true on the other hand, if the night is already there, we want to switch it to the day. So else, so that's the alternative, day dot set active is going to be true. We want the day and then we want to turn off the night. And then so this is going to be essentially everlasting. So if you want to do this over and over again, it's not going to stop. So now that we've changed the two game objects, we need to change the variable. So we just set the night to true. So we're going to make is night equal true. And down here, we just set the night to false. So we're going to make is night equal to false. Now, if we save this script, we head back on here. And when we click the button now, it should switch between night and day, night and day, just like this. So let's say night, day, night, day, night, day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has been helpful and you can implement it into your own project.